Do you ever want to add watermarks in documents, as well as place numbers, dates, and time markers, or other identifiers, in the header or footer of documents as they are scanned or processed? Image Runner Advanced Desktop has features that let you add text, such as the word confidential, as a watermark within your documents, dates, page numbers, and other key information as a header or footer within your documents. It's a powerful option that is customizable to meet your specific needs. Here's an example that'll show you just how easy it is to add headers and footers as well as watermarks. We'll be using three different document formats, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. In this example, the user needs to add, in order, from left to right, the name of the document, the date the document was processed, the company name, and the page number within the total number of pages in the document. Begin by selecting the three documents and dragging them over to the Quick Printing tool and dropping them on the Print Settings option. We'll keep the order of the documents as is and select OK. The Canon Image Runner Advanced Desktop Editor opens the Office documents compiled into one document. The first thing we want to do is name each of the documents. To do this, we begin by selecting Chapter 1, and then right-clicking Chapter 1. In the right-click menu, select Change Chapter Name. For this example, we will name the first document Word, and press the Enter key. We want to repeat these steps for Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, naming each chapter, PowerPoint, and Excel, respectively. Select the tab for Page Settings. Under the Header Footer Settings section, select the checkbox for Insert Header Footer into Print Pages. And the section will expand for us to make further settings. Select the Header drop down menu. And select Date from the menu. Select the Footer drop down menu. And select Page Number from the menu. Notice that the date is now in the header and the page number is in the footer. Let's edit the header and footer even further. To do so, select the Detailed Settings button. And you'll see that we can place information at the left, center, or right of the header. When we chose date for the header in a previous step, it automatically put it in the center as short date with auto update. Since the document name is supposed to be on the left, we'll select the Insert button next to where it says Left. And from the drop-down menu, we'll choose Document Name. The company name, which we want on the right, is not a standard stamp. It didn't appear as a choice in the menu, but that's not a problem. All we have to do is select in the field under Right, and we can key it in. In this example, I'm just entering placeholder text. We want to uncheck the checkbox for Place Headers in Opposite Positions for Front and Back Sides so the header is in the same order on every page. Next, we will select Footers. And we see that the page number has already been inserted in the center field. We'll want to change the format of the page numbering by selecting all of the text in the center field and then selecting the Font Settings button. We'll make the font Tahoma. and change the font size to 16 points, so it'll be really easy to see. And use the Font Colors drop-down menu and change it to red. Then bold and italicize the text by selecting each checkbox and selecting OK. We will also want to uncheck the checkbox for Place Footers in Opposite Positions for Front and Back Sides so the footer is the same on every page. 
To adjust the position of the header or footer, you would select the Position Adjustment button and make the necessary changes. To adjust the details of the page numbering, you would select the Page Number Details button. To change the format of the page numbering, select the Page Number Format drop-down menu and choose the option that meets your need. In this example, we're not going to make any changes. If we had made any changes, we would select the OK button to confirm. But in this example, we will select Cancel. We're done configuring the footer, so we select OK. You'll see that the headers and footers have been added to the preview. Additionally, the document name is still the generic new document title since we haven't saved the document. So let's save it and rename it. Start by selecting the File tab, and then Save from the drop-down menu. You're prompted to select a save destination. We'll keep Library selected, and then select OK. Next, we specify in which library we would like to save the document. Since Desktop is already selected, and that is where we would like to save the document, we won't change it. But we do want to rename the file. So I select the Document Name field and rename the file Headers Footers. Then we select Save. Notice that the document name has been updated in the headers. Now let's add watermarks to the document. Be sure the Page Settings tab is selected and select the Watermark Settings drop down menu. There are various watermarks to choose from. For this example, we will select Internal Use Only. To remove this watermark, we select the Add Delete Watermark link and select Internal Use Only from the currently set watermarks and select the Remove button. We then select OK. Notice that the watermark is no longer in the document. We can also add watermarks from the same window. Again, select the Add Delete Watermark link and select Internal Use Only from the available watermarks and select the Add button. We then select OK again. Notice that the watermark is once again in the document. You can also create your own watermarks. To do so, select the Watermark Management link and select the Add button. The Add New Watermark window displays. It is in this window that you can create your own watermark. But for now, we're not going to create a custom watermark. We have now added the appropriate headers, footers, and watermarks. Now we want to export this document as a PDF. Select the Export to PDF icon from the Print Settings ribbon. You're prompted to select a save destination. We'll keep Library selected and select OK. Next, we specify in which library we would like to save the document. Since Desktop is already selected, and that is where we'd like to save the document, we won't change it. We also don't need to rename the PDF since it already has a relevant name, Headers Footers. We simply select Save. If we minimize Image Runner Advanced Desktop and open the newly exported PDF, we can see the headers, footers, and watermarks we have added. Now, anytime we view or print this file, the headers, footers, and watermarks will be included in the document.